Bates is the man that uh, took it all last year. This is Evan O'Leary, 24 years of age, been in the sport for nine years. Second overall in 2002, won the Taupo Rally of 2003, but have had few appearances, had some problems uh, getting a budget together, although he's got a new car in the wings for the national championships. That will be uh, Mitsubishi Evo 6. This is an Evo 3, but this one, again, as Trevor alluded to, is a horsepower monster, nearly 500 horsepower. The defending champion, what can he do? In his sights, the 10202 from Steve Murphy. Can he go better? Will he go well enough to match Murphy or Rostenberg in the final? Yes, he'd still be well down on horsepower on Murphy's car, of course, although Murphy's car would probably be heavier. But uh, it, it's an interesting battle, really, because these cars are probably a little better in the suspension. They're so well developed, you know, first of all by the factory and then by the home tuners. 38-7 at the split. That's the fastest he's done today. So he's certainly not going to give it up without a huge fight. He gets a little bit loose coming round this one. He got very sideways in his previous run. Let's see what he can do this time round. Oh, and he's got it completely wrong. He flicked the bank and that was all it took. And you can see for yourself how long it took for the car to stop tumbling. The speed that he was going when the car flicked the bank. And that is the end, sadly, for the moment anyway, for Evan O'Leary and the Total Oils and Lubricants car. The champion from last year won't be going any further. Out comes the co-driver. Yeah, that is the fastest part of the, of the whole hill. And, I mean, if you're going to have an accident, that's the wrong place to do it. You tell by the number of times the car went over. As I've said before, though, the cars are very strong, and, uh, you know, hopefully they're okay. Well, we said, didn't we, that uh, the television screen is deceiving. It doesn't look quite as steep, but as you said then, Trev, it just tumbled and tumbled and tumbled. That was a very, very fast accident. Yeah, and again, it may reflect that, that pressure of trying to win an event. You know, I've said it a few times, but it's easy to do the practice runs and then the elimination runs, but when it gets down to the last few, it gets a lot harder. There's, I think they're both okay there. That's even climbing out of the car now, so that's the good news. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to repeat his uh, win of 2003, but more than that, he's got uh, a fairly hefty repair bill on his hands too, I would think. So drama of plenty here in the final four. Well, we saw it in the final eight too with Paul Nicholl that uh, the hill has uh, lived up to its reputation and claim two for the Dunlop Sprint of 2004. So once again, we're going to have a slight delay before we get underway with the uh, rest of the runs. Still to come, of course, we'll cut this from four down to two and then we will crown a champion. Unfortunately, you saw the uh, visual evidence for yourself. It won't be this year the chance of Evan O'Leary to make the repeat. The mangled Total Oil and Lubricants Mitsubishi well, they say hindsight is 2020. We caught up with Evan yesterday and listened to what he said about the hill. So you'll be hoping for some attention today to make those sponsors more interested? Yeah, yeah, definitely. But um, yeah, it's pretty tough out there. It's very wet and um, we're getting a lot of wheel spin. How scary is it going down that hill flat out? It's definitely scary, but um, yeah, if you're scared driving these cars, you're not going to go too well. So you just got to take a risk, I suppose.